So you've just started your online coaching business, but crickets, insert crickets, you have no clients and no list. So how do you connect with your perfect client? Well, hang tight because in this video, we're gonna talk about just that. Hey there, Legacy Leader. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm your life and business success strategist, Molly and Luna, and today we are diving into the Legacy Leaders Community Group on Facebook to answer some of your hot and burning questions about what it takes to build a thriving online business. And today's question comes from Olga, and Olga asks, in one of your videos, you gave great advice to check the language of your clients. What is the best way to spot my clients? Should I make posts, invite them to discovery calls, or create polls inside of networking groups? So Olga, amazing question. Now, just to give you a little background here, I recently hosted a challenge, which I do pretty regularly, about once a month, inside of the Legacy Leaders Community Group on Facebook. And I show up live and I teach you. And this particular challenge was all about helping you step up and become an online coach and specifically teaching you how to create, launch, and sell your high ticket coaching program in five days. So Olga is asking about a follow-up question here. We were talking about how when you're starting from scratch, a list of zero, you know that you're, you're just pivoting into this new career for yourself. How do you decide exactly who your perfect client is or also known in the industry as your ICA, your ideal client avatar? Well, the quick and dirty answer to that question is that you have to start asking questions. And Olga specifically was asking here, what are the best ways to uh, gain that information? Is it by posting in social media groups, inviting people to discovery calls, creating polls? And the answer is yes, yes to all of it. When you are just starting out as an online coach, the first thing I want you to do is actually tap into your immediate circle of influence. So do not be afraid to actually pull out your phone and to scroll through your contacts and to say, hmm, who might I have helped recently or in the past, potentially, um, with the solution to a problem that they were having that is now similar to the type of business or coaching business that you're building. And I want you to reach out and just jump on the phone and have a conversation with them. Now, if you feel like, well, I don't, this is all brand new. I don't know if I have anybody. Then you need to call up your three closest friends and or family members who you trust and who will give you honest feedback and just start asking questions. Because I guarantee whether you realize it or not, you're starting a coaching business because you're passionate about some aspect. You know, I work with a lot of health and wellness business owners and you have most likely actually helped somebody whether you realize it or not. So I want you to just get on the phone and start, start asking questions. There's three primary areas of information we're trying to collect here. We need to recognize like where are they located geographically? Like physically, where are they in the world? The next thing is we need to dive more deeply into their demographics. Now I know here in the United States, sometimes talking about finances is a, is a bit taboo, so if we can get the information about, about their annual salary, that's great. But other things we wanna know are, are they students? Are they a professional? Are they married? Do they have children? Things like that. And then finally, and maybe the most important one is the psychographics. Where is their mental state? What is it that they're really struggling with on a deep level? Where are they on their journey before they come to you? and what exactly you know, is that problem that you are going to help them solve. So we've gotta do some digging here and it does take some time to craft that ideal client avatar and identify who that one perfect person is that you're trying to speak to in order to really build a thriving online business. Because when we're talking to everybody, we're talking to nobody. So you've gotta be thinking about that one person you've got in your mind. Now, for me, when I first got started, I was a life coach and I had no idea I was a life coach. It wasn't until my friend Brooke, who had been studying for her doctor's degree in psychology, 
think that's correct. She's been studying this stuff and she got on the phone and was like, oh my goodness, Molly Ann. She's like, I don't know if you've ever heard of this career called life coaching, but like, this is what you do. This is what you should be doing uh, because you are always my go-to. Whenever I'm having relationship problems or questions about my health, like you're, you're my resource. And so when I first got started, my perfect client, even though she never was actually a client, was my close friend, Brooke, because she was the one that I was already doing the work with and for without even recognizing it. So if you can be thinking about that for yourself, that can be super powerful when it comes to content creation and, and really helping get the word out there about your business and your marketing efforts. Now, if you don't have somebody like that in your life, the other thing I would suggest is think about yourself maybe three or five years ago, um, the person you were before you discovered this solution to a problem that you now solve. So for me, my first business was a health and wellness business. I worked as a personal trainer and I wrote customized fitness and nutrition plans for my clients. And before that was my business, I thought about who I was three to five years before that, what I did not know about how to build a strong, fit, flexible physique. And at that time, I just kept that image of my former self in my mind. So any content I was creating or questions I was answering, I was answering for the Molly Ann three to five years ago. So for you, Olga, and everyone else watching, I hope that that helps start churning the, the wheels in your brain and, and get things fired up, is just to start asking ask the questions and begin before you're ready, okay? Do not wait until you feel like you've got everything perfect because when it comes to online business building, it's just like anything else in this world in creation. It is messy, it is so messy. I mean, okay, all right, I'm a mama, I've got two small kids, so like it's fresh in my brain here, so forgive me, but I'm even thinking about human creation, right? From the moment, of initiation, that initial connection between you and your love, of creating that new life force to the actual delivery of that new child, it's messy and beautiful and amazing and awesome. And online business building is exactly the same. So do not be afraid to just get started one little micro baby step at a time and just keep asking those open-ended questions. And before you know it, your business will be skyrocketing. Okay, that's all for today. I do hope to see you right back here, same time, same place next week. New videos come out every single Monday. Better yet, join us inside of the Legacy Leaders community on Facebook so that I can create a video answering your next hot and burning question about what it takes to really build true wealth. In the meantime, keep striving to master your mind and to live your legacy. Bye for now.